Hi. Yeah. Oh, it's bright out here. Dang, it's real bright. Um, all right, for today, I'm going to be working on the 27. Um, going to be doing some more bars up on the front of where the front suspension is going to mount. I was going to try and do, like, a crazy mount and, like, have them, um, like, perpendicular above the motor. But it's going to be just a pain to get all that around everything, around the intercooler piping, around, <clears throat> I mean, the pulleys, the belts, everything. So I'm just, I'm going to kind of do it more simple <clears throat> and kind of, <clears throat> whoa, <laughs> and kind of mimic the, uh, the V shape that I did on the front. So I'm going to mimic those and have the coilovers come down at the same angle of the uh, bars. So it'll all look like a V. Um, and then once I bend up those bars and do some more gusseting and everything to the front, <clears throat> then I can uh, start cutting the tubes, the push rods for the front suspension because they need to go shorter in order for me to get the right articulation and everything on the, on the leverage. So here I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I still need to finesse this a little bit, um, but basically I'm going to run a tube from here to here with this same curve, um, and then I'm just going to gusset it, uh, notch it here, and then same thing here, and then what I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out, go straight, and then come out 45s, and then these have to get shortened both of them to about right here just about and then my coilovers would go in here somewhere so that's what this bar is for I'm just getting measurements now and then I'm gonna bend this one up and tack this to this and then of course I can gusset once this is in here I can gusset off this I'm not welding anything to these obviously because these need to be removable so I can take the engine in and out um, but this will have some gussets going to this just to strengthen this up, you know, just overbuild it basically. Um, so that's basically it. What, what I'm going to be doing today is just bending these tubes, gusseting all this. I don't have my bungs in yet. Um, I can try and reuse the ones that are on the bottom of these tubes, the push rods or whatever. I can try and reuse them, but the chances are of cutting the weld off, that's never going to be clean and I might actually get through to the threads if I'm not careful enough. So I won't be able to do the suspension until I get my bungs in, but at least, you know, that's, I can get the bases done and then I can try to like mock up everything, you know. So yeah, we'll see. to bend some tubes, my dudes. So, turns out I need more of a bend. Um, I need to go tighter because it's gonna hit here in order to go to like this corner or wherever corner I wanna go. Um, so I'm gonna go much tighter than this 45. Probably kinda what I did with these maybe, um, these tubes. Go to, I think it was like a 65, something like that, 65 degree bend. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do this side, make sure it's good, and that's where I'm gonna put it, 
And then I'll just mimic it on the other side. Yeah, Bob's your uncle. Alright, so you can see I got these two bars in and I got the center bar in there. So that's basically what I was going for there. It's a little weird, car's weird, whatever, who cares. Looks pretty sick. Um, so now I'm just adjusting the center bar. The problem is, is my, is the K24 sits slanted to towards the passenger side. So basically, it's favoring this bar more. In turn, the back of this tube is almost touching the uh, valve cover back there. So the problem with that is I can't lay this tube. It This tube is parallel with the engine right now, right, the valve cover. I can't lay this tube over anymore. Uh, this one's parallel with the intake. So basically what I'm saying is there's less of a gap here, more of a gap here. And that's just because of where the engine is sitting. Um, obviously I can do more work to get it over or whatever, but it's just one of those things where it all works no matter what. I might shorten this one just a little bit just to give it more of a gap. Um, I've been trimming this bar a little bit to bring it into this bar some more just so it moves it over a tad so it looks decent. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna tack weld all this in now. And then basically, that'd be it for today. And then hopefully I can get my front suspension stuff figured out soon too. This way the car will be a roller again. And then once that's done, I can do my drive shaft. And then basically plumbing and wiring and some sort of a firewall and something to cover the drive shaft and this thing should be hopefully fired up pretty soon. So yeah, we'll see. All right, my peeps. So I got the coilover mount bar, got that tacked in now. Um, I got my two little like angle tubes that I was talking about like gusseting or whatever. I got those in now. So those are good. Um, I just grinded off a bunch of the old tabs and the old slag and everything. Um, where the pivot points go on the pushrod suspension cantilever. Um, so I ground those down now and so basically once I get all my front suspension uh, parts in, like my weld-in bungs so that I can make new pushrods, um, then I can put all this front suspension back together, uh, take my coil springs out and test compression and rebound and everything. And then if the, all those angles work on the one side, then I'll mimic it on the other side. And the car will be a roller again. And then I can focus on doing drive shaft, uh, plumbing and wiring, and firewall, and drive shaft tunnel kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that's going to be in the next few videos. More progress on this. And then I'll have progress on the wagon and yeah so hopefully you guys are liking all the content i appreciate everything so thank you and till next time